Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Mila B. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows day to day. I've got a lot of questions on my last brow video. So I'm just gonna jump right into things today because I don't like my hair on it. So anyways, y'all can see my little scarce baby eyebrows. I've already washed my face and put some moisturizer on. That's pretty much all I've done. So, well that is all I've done. So what I do on my eyebrows is I put some primer first which i just left so i'll be right back. all right so the primer that i'm using now is this makeup obsession game set matte i just found this at ulta online it was like on sale so i was like let me try it out y'all hear her over there complaining so i just apply i got super oily skin i have not been wearing makeup since january really so i couldn't tell you how good this lasts how well it lasts all of that stuff because like I said, I haven't been wearing makeup. So even when I go to work now, I wear a mask. So I'm just like, there's, for me, there's no reason. So anyways, I put my primer, you know, rub that all in. Some Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Because I don't like that shiny brow. And like I said, I got super oily skin. So I just lightly press that into my brows. Okay. When I got that ugly halo look, then I know I'm ready. Y'all see that? Okay. You can press the little bit better than that if you want. But anyways, so that's how I take all the shine out of my brows. And then I come in. Now, I switch back and forth between a ColourPop pencil. I think I use Bang & Brunette, Brunette or the Morphe pencil. And I think this is Java, I believe. So this is what I typically use. I'm not like super... These both of these pencils are five dollars, and really, sometimes I'll even use beauty supply pencils, so it's really whatever. Find what matches for your skin. So, let me get all up close and personal. Hmm, this mess with my lighting. So, I just brush, brush, brush those little few scarce hairs I have. Which eyebrow am I gonna do first? And I just lightly line underneath my brow for my desired shape now i like my tail so i usually keep this pretty much as is but that front you see how i kind of just lightly lined it not close enough i feel like the lighting is weird right now there we go all right and then i'm gonna line the top starting right here very lightly See the shape that I got going? And then I'm gonna real lightly just kind of fill it in. So, like I said, I have not been wearing makeup. So especially now, since I'm not wearing makeup, I like my brows to look as natural and as light as possible. So when I get here, you see I'm kind of angling it out. I feel like the lighting's not that great. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. But y'all get y'all see what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna come right here. Oh, there we go. There goes some light. And I'm gonna kind of lightly go upward. So that way I can have like that real brow fit. Alright, so once I get that, which is ooh, I'm knocking stuff over. Once I get that, which is pretty much my brow. I just take my little spoolie on the back of the pencil and I just real lightly go through because that's my way of like making it look more natural, I guess you could say. And every now and again, I might have to come back and spring a little something up in there, right up in there. See that? Right there. This is my foundation stick. You can use whichever one you want. I use the Maybelline foundation stick because I feel like it stays better in place just me personally and i take my little brush and i just do 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 and i lightly go underneath to give it just to kind of clean it up a little bit and i am one of those people that never i don't even pluck my eyebrows there's really no point i don't have enough hair to do anything so i just do this is it y'all oh, that's it no more i got one more step what's up with this lighting though let's turn this way is that better y'all see my daughter over there i'm trying to hide her 
<laughs> she over here is seriously watching me too. And then my final step is this ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. I think I use dark brown. Sometimes I'll use clear. It just depends on the season. Like certain times of the year, I can do my eyebrows darker, like the summer, because I'm darker. So I prefer that bolder look in the summer. Even though I kind of like it. I don't know, y'all. Let me shut up. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, and I just very lightly, I clean off the brush as good as I can. And I very, very, very lightly brush through. And it gives that hair like illusion. Y'all see that how it looks like it's homegrown? Y'all see that? That's brown. And it's real natural. So nobody walking around knowing I'm ball browed. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. And then look at that. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna finish up my other brow and I'm gonna come back so y'all can see like the final result. Okay, that look like I am not bald browed. You see that, baby? You copying me. Mm. Okay, girl. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little sum sum on today because let's just see. It's been a long time anyway. I want to show you guys how I do my brows because I've gotten a lot of questions. They're very natural looking. So if you're not into natural, this video was not for you. But if you are, you see what I'm working with. You see that? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to give y'all those eyes. Just kidding. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Please comment below and let me know how you like your brows and what products do you use? Because maybe I should be trying something different. I don't know. But while we're in this mask season, I will not be putting on a full beat of nothing. So I do love y'all. Thank y'all so much for all the support. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Me with me. Out.